Well, this is a book, Prelude to Everest. It's about a guy, Alex Kellis, a Scottish mountaineer who died nearly 100 years ago and did some tremendously pioneering work on all the Himalayan mountains and also the physiology. He was one of the first people to sort of ask why was it people got so tired at high altitude? You know, what effect was the lack of oxygen? Sarah Winman when uh, God was a rabbit. So this is a story about uh, the brother and sister and about their connection. So I've read quite a few good reviews about this one. So, um, and I know that during the last day of book festival is going to be a meeting with the writer. So I'd like to read it first and then just go there and maybe ask some questions. He died on the mountain, died on Everest in 1921. And he's just more or less been forgotten. And just very recently, two guys got together and wrote a book about it. The book's the bicycle book by Bella Bathurst. I've just been to her event. Um, she's written about bikes and about cycling and about cycling tribes. And I really, really enjoy cycling. I cycle around London a lot. Um, so I just bought this and went to here, and I'm about to get her to sign it. And this one is just an absolutely random book. So, you know, it's... Um it's a Scottish writer and something about Highlands and very kind of basic stuff about uh, little kids and her love, you know, to animals. And so, yeah, it was just a random book and I had a feeling that it's going to be a good one. I feel really awful because I haven't picked up any Scottish fiction. So um, right now I picked up um, Last Exit to Brooklyn and The Last Picture Show, very uh, cinematic choices right now. So. Do you know I haven't read it yet, but it's about bikes <laughs> um, and it's about the different people who ride them and why they ride bikes and the different sort of tribes uh, and she's just been talking about that in her event. Tom Tobin, Shakespeare Sonnets and I Aspired. I saw the films recently and I wanted to revisit the books and to actually read from the author's perspective and just, just get a little bit more um, variables to the characters that are not shown on the screen. Oh, and also uh, a French book, Philippe Claudel, because I've read it in French. I want my partner to read it in English. And he's here later, I believe, tomorrow. So he's quite a stunning writer. And I like Colm Tobin. So this is our holiday reading. 